Okay, this is Angelo. Uh, welcome to the second appendix, and this is going to be a much shorter appendix than the first appendix of 20 minutes or so. I want to give you two um, things um, that I was thinking of when I was editing this debate, well, not debate, but uh, study, when I was editing this study for you guys. Uh, so I caught a couple of things that I just wanted to explain. So let me just place them here in this um, second appendix. Number one, okay, I was talking about the perfect tense, that we are very used to kappa and epsilon in the perfect tense outside of the infinitive uh, system. I forgot to say that, but outside of the infinitive system. Um, and, and, uh, and also in the infinitive system, actually, uh, kappa and epsilon is used uh, um, uh, also. Um, but one thing I didn't really um, drive home is that, yeah, we're used to it, but in the third person singular, though, not in all the, um, not in, all, not in you know, first, second person like that, you know. Kappa and Epsilon, just like sim, Sigma and Epsilon uh, for the aorist outside of the infinitive uh, uh, system, actually is seen sigma and epsilon actually is seen in in uh the third person singular as well just like the kappa epsilon is used in uh the perfect tense uh in the indicative system like for example um uh heorakin that's a third person singular that's in the perfect tense found and recorded uh i believe in verse 18 all, all over the place in in the greek new testament but what I'm thinking about is, um, you know, uh, that is found in uh, chapter 1, verse 18 of John's Gospel. So don't think that I meant to say that capital Epsilon is a usual construction for the perfect tense all across the board in the paradigms of the verb, of the, of the, of the verb. That's not true. What I meant to say is that capital Epsilon is found in third person singular, okay, constructions. That's a very normal thing. That's a very normal thing to find kappa and epsilon in, uh, in your third person uh, singular constructions. Okay, now the second thing I want to add is um, this very fine word, um, deknumi. Let me see if I can find it over here, uh, which is actually dexai here in the text so let me just uh, enlarge it hopefully i can if i can't i'm um, sorry about that guys i just have to see if i can get the magnification up to speed okay it just take me a couple of seconds here um accessibility magnification and then i just go back to it okay and then now i can enlarge it okay that's a doken. That's not what I want. I want dex I. Okay. Let me just press this and press this, and I'm off to the races. Okay. Now, um, pay attention to uh, the fourth line down. You have Kalusis, uh, 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 and then you have Yesu, and then you have Edoken, and then you have the word that I want to speak about right now, very briefly. Okay. Dex I. Now, um, the reason why you don't see, okay, um, and this is uh, this is uh, an infinitive, okay, uh, an infinitive uh, uh, here, okay, an infinitive. And this is an aris ar active though. This is aris. Uh, this is aris active uh, construction, okay, uh, dexi. Um, now remember that the stem is spelled out. I believe, okay, delta epsilon iota. Um, kappa nu, that might be a key, nu upsilon, okay, so this might be um, in a situation um, like this, okay, um, uh, this might be a liquid future, and that's why you don't see uh, your kappa and, um, uh, and uh, you know, and uh, you don't see your kappa uh, aris for uh, 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 for um, you know this this me verb uh, this infinitive construction. 
Okay, now you have a kappa anyway, okay, in the stem. But you don't see your, your tense formative there uh, because, okay, because this might be a, a liquid future. Now, what you want, might want to do is check out um, uh, Bill Mounts's uh, uh, morph uh, morphology of uh, Greek. Okay, the m morphology of Greek. Okay, uh, and check and check this word out, and see if it's a liquid future. Um, you know, uh, uh, if it's if it's uh, if, if the stem. Uh, qualifies for a liquid future in the aorist. Okay, so it's a very neat thing. That's your homework assignment. Okay, but I believe this is a liquid future, and that's why it doesn't showcase the transformative here. Um, and 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 uh, and uh, and that's just the deal. Also, like in the future tense, you're going to see that happening in the future tense. The sigma is not going to be seen. Um, you know, I will raise a ghetto. Uh, that's a liquid future right there because of the roll and um, so that's a liquid future so I just want to point those things out I don't think I have anything else to point out um, you can leave your comment on the screen uh, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel um, and uh, so that's basically the thing I have different studies on Edokin Edokin, uh, Edokin versus Dexai, and then I have a full uh, debate or two or so, okay, with Mark from Missouri, uh, a, a debate, okay, uh, me debating uh, that JW, a very dear person to me, uh, you know, uh, and the debate is based on Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. Now, unfortunately, at that time, I didn't go into the full, you know, construction of things, okay? But I did point out the difference, uh, the differences semantically between, okay, Edokin and Dexai, or uh, Didomi and uh, Dek Numi, okay? So maybe you want to see that in the future, okay? So uh, hit your bell notification there so you will get updated when I, uh, when I put up a new video, and uh, it's almost re reaching to a thousand videos. Um, that's a that's a milestone. Even though I'm going to maybe delete some videos and bring it down a notch uh, below one thousand, but uh, when it's safe to say, um, let's say uh, I don't know, uh, let's say a uh, thousand fifteen videos, and I'll start deleting uh, at least fifteen videos or below that number, and then it'll be safe to say that you know I uploaded a f you know a thousand videos. Or I kept a thousand videos there of, uh, for you guys to see, uh, basically of my family or of Bible studies. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, this discussion, this Bible study, okay, on the difference uh, differences between, uh, okay, uh, Edokin and Dexai, and the reason why it's important is because Jehovah's Witnesses, so called. Uh, JWs like to use or misuse this text of Revelation chapter 1 verse 1 to actually uh, minimize the deity or erase, you know, delete it altogether, the deity of our Lord Jesus Christ. So this is one of the verses that they use or twist or misuse, okay, to their own, to their own destruction because, you know, one day they're going to have to kiss Jesus' feet and admit that he is uh, Yahweh anyway. We're on the winning side. Just remember, we're on the winning team. Also, I wanted to mention um, very briefly, if I, you know, read a little slowly or whatever the case may be, uh, please forgive me, I am legally blind. I want that noted for the record, just in case somebody gets serious about my Bible studies and really uh, writes some sort of biography. I want uh, everybody to know that, um, because you don't know what the future may hold for this channel or for my Bible studies. We, we just don't know what God is going to do in the future it could be it could be small like it is now or it could just you know uh uh burst like a meteorite on the scene and catch everybody's attention we in my lifetime or outside of my lifetime we just don't know how god is going to use this that's why i always pray uh or almost always pray that god will multiply it and um so you know martin luther when he <laughs> When he nailed his 95 theses on the church uh, bulletin board, the door, 
of the of, of the door the door of the uh, the castle the church or whatever it was he didn't know that it was going to uh, be as big as 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 it was going to be so we don't know how God is going to use you know my material and yours in the future so all we have to do is just trust God and let him do all the work and we just have to be faithful uh, to his calling and to his uh, 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 to his word and then let him do the rest we don't worry about uh, becoming popular or anything like that we're so busy and just trying to get this thing right so we can share it with people on God's word and how to teach people how to you know uh, defend a doctrine okay of Christ okay and so that's just the deal so I just wanted to note that that I am legally blind and I'm, I, I'm doing the best I can uh, in the spirit of God and I'm using a magnifying glass while, while I'm reading this stuff so, so I, if I can see like some of you people can see well, I mean, I could, it will be much more smoother reading, much more faster, because I'm holding a very, very small, below an inch size, uh, three lens magnifying glass, and it's broken. It's being held together with uh, with uh, a thick uh, thread, and uh, more than a thread, but uh, you know, I'm not gonna say a rope, but not not a thread, uh, somewhere, somewhere in between. And so the thing is that. Uh, you know, I'm doing the best I can in the spirit of God uh, to try to teach you guys, okay, these constructions. Because if we don't do it, Jehovah's Witnesses are going to win the battle, even though Christ won the overall war. This is Angelo Quinone is giving glory to God the Father, to the Lord Jesus Christ, and in the Holy Spirit. God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. Thank you so much. Bye. This is Angelo Quinones.